right, hello everybody. We are here on a bit of a late Sunday night with some some DCRL action here. I'm joined by the one, the only Pat Down. Yeah, thank you for bringing me on again. I appreciate the opportunity, and it's always great to cast along here with one of my good friends, Omega. Yes, sir. Um, let's so yeah, say we just have one match tonight. It is this Low Ballers Reapers Divi match. Should be a lot of fun. Um, as I say, without further ado, we can start jumping into the stats. I should probably turn the music on. That would be a good idea. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear just my voice by itself. Um, yeah, so the Division E standings, we have Pegasus and Boost Brigade at 2-0. and oh, And then Low Ballers, Grounded, Optic, and Chaos Crew all at 1-1. and one, And Burns Bumpers and Reapers at 0-2. Oh Looks pretty symmetrical. Is there anything you see here? Um, pat down? Yeah, I mean, just to start, I mean, it's the Pegasus show so far here in Div E. You see just a sea of red across their name. But looking to tonight's matchup, we see the low ballers, you know, they're in third right now. This match could really be pivotal towards the end of the season, working for that one seed. And if you're Reapers here, you're just trying to get your season off the ground. You know, you want to you want to get going and 0-2 and start. Not the highest win percentage, but I know they've been trying to kind of retool their approach. And going into this game, I think they do have a fair... A, a fair chance of winning this, to be honest. Yeah, so, um, jumping into the teams, we have low ballers. I'll let you introduce them. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, looking at the low ballers here, I mean, there is, unfortunately, no league leaders among this team, but honestly, for a middle-of-the-pack team, it's looking pretty good. The goals per game are spread really evenly, which I like. The shots per game... You see Porter the Great and Elite Upgrade are literally identical across two games. That's pretty impressive. And really, it's just really similar across the board. The one and only thing I want to see more of from the low ballers here, the demos per game is averaging below below one across the entire team. That needs to be higher. In Div E, a demo will make a big difference. And low ballers, if they can start to utilize that, that's what's going to take their game to the next level. For sure. Demos are are definitely a huge thing and i i would argue they're huge anywhere um regardless of division if you can take your opponent out especially on like defense um you know take out the last man all of a sudden there's no goalies at open net it's huge um demos can be very pivotal and they're uh, a very very pivotal mechanic uh in rocket league but yeah i think that just about sums up everything with low ballers here now i'll introduce reapers well, we have crazy ike Gamer guy or pumpkin head on mediocre Joker, um, yeah, uh, gamer guy pumpkin head having almost one goal per game seems to be pretty good, but uh, his two teammates um do not not score a lot of goals, which is totally fine. Um, but I, I would like to see a little bit more scoring coming out of them. They are zero and two, so looks like they're not quite able to get as many balls into the net as they would like. Um, as I say, other than that, I mean. The only thing that really shows up that I, I think is interesting is the demos. I know you talked about with the low ballers, the demos being a little lower. Um, but here, the demos are a little higher. We have Crazy Ike leading the the whole division in demos per game. And then Pumpkinhead and Mediocre Joker are still at about half a demo a game, which is pretty high, all things considered. They're definitely demoing more than uh, they're getting demoed, which is honestly pretty good, if you ask me. Yeah, I mean, Divi is always a fun one to watch, and I think tonight's game will be no different. I guess, to you, what is kind of like the one stat line you think will be the big difference maker in tonight's game? I feel like it'll be assists. Um, I talk about it pretty much every time I cast. Um, being able to pass the ball to your teammates and get assists often is something that's very huge. But um, both of these teams, let's, let's compare them. Um, assists, we have... Uh, 1.5 per game from low ballers, uh, just 0 0.43 from Reapers. So, I, I think whichever team gets more more assists is going to come out on top. I feel like that's that's one of the the biggest things. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I think Div E is another one of those where it's just so you can't really pinpoint stats this early in the season. It's really just a toss up every time you play a series and. I really am just excited to get started with this one. Yeah, uh, but before we get started, I do want to ask, what's your prediction for the, the series result? 
Okay. Well, as we were talking about, I may have taken up a coaching gig in Div E, and it may be with the Reapers. So I would be a really mean coach if I didn't predict my boys, the Reapers. I think it'll be a nice 3-1 win for them tonight. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I, I do feel like Reapers are going to get their first series win here on stream. Um, but I think it's going to be 3-2 or that they're going to take it in five. I think your stream nerves aren't going to get to them. I, why? I don't know. But um, either way, it should be a close match. I'm expecting it to go to five. I think that is a, that is a very fair assessment as well. So, yeah, I mean, I think we're about to begin in here, but before we do, uh, just wanted to say thank you to all the fans that continue to tune into these streams. We're already up to 20 viewers, and the match hasn't even started yet. So, across the Dakotas, across the states, wherever you may be, thank you for tuning in. And you've uh, tuned into what will hopefully be a really entertaining series here. For sure. All right, players should be joining the lobby here soon. Um, now we can get it, get it going here. Should be, should be a very fun matchup between both of these Divi teams. It's always fun to watch, as you were saying. Oh, that's great. Rocket League doesn't want to show up. Okay, there it goes. Cool. All right, kicking it off here. See, it looks like the ball is going to go the way of the Reapers. Pumpkinhead taken into the corner. A little thicky to clear. But yeah, now that we're starting off the series, we're seeing both teams really trying to push the tempo early. This is good to see. And we're also seeing that the Reapers, they aren't afraid to play in front of the ball, as Pumpkinhead just showed there. I guess kind of as we get into it here, Omega, what are, what are you feeling? How do you think, where do you think this series is going to take us? Um, I, I think it's going to take us to game five, but, um, I, as I say, I, I don't really know how to answer that. It kind of depends what we see here. I'm still trying to make sure the overlay is all good to go. If you are all good, I will take the lead on this one. Do some play by play. We got a little thicky here with the ball. He's going to take it up straight into mediocre Joker. It's over to crazy Ike. Lead upgrade went in that 50 though. Put it back to Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead is going to get to it, but it's going to drop down here. Up to the Reapers to clear this. Crazy Egg off the wall beats Porter the Great. It's going to go over to Pumpkinhead, who's just going to pop it up. Buy his team some time. Back to a little thicky here. Mediocre Joker getting up there in the corner. Able to get to it. Both players on the Reapers missing, though. Now Elite Upgrade has a chance to break. Cut off by Crazy Ike. Back to a little thicky now. Lee upgrade getting involved a lot here early with the early shot as well. Pumpkinhead's awkward here. Gets bumped into by Crazy Ike, but he's able to break. It's just a little thicky on defense now. Yeah, we'll see what Reapers can do here as they start to transition to the offense. And Pumpkinhead, their lead scorer, is going to come out with the first goal of the series. Yeah, I mean, this was just good spacing here. We see a bit of an unfortunate double commit there from the low ballers. He's pretty much wide open net there for Pumpkinhead. Bit awareness of the situation. Yeah, they'll definitely take it here. You know, they have the early game one lead. We'll see if they're able to pile on a few more here or if Lowballer is going to try to turn this one right around pretty quickly. Um, the ball is on Lowballer's side, but Porter the Great's going to go for a go clear. This one gets 50 out mid, elite upgrade. He's going to try to take it up the wall, hits it straight down to his teammate, Little Thicky, who gets a 50. We'll see if he can follow up on it. He can. He's going to take it to the wall, but doesn't really have any boost here. To do anything with it gets it out mid to lead upgrade but he's not quite able to get a shot here and the ball's gonna stay mid but pumpkin head with a great clear yeah we're seeing really just a lot of bend don't break here from the reapers is crazy like with a really nice cross there straight to mediocre joker who can't quite get to it but i like the effort from both of those reapers players there a great back pass there as well from crazy Ike, but pumpkin head wasn't quite ready for it But yeah, based on what I'm seeing so far, these Reapers look like a completely new team. They're bringing a lot more aggression, and they're really just spreading the field a lot better, too. Yeah, for sure. One fun thing I do want to point out is it looks like Mediocre Joker is a keyboard and mouse player. 
Uh, you don't see, see that, the, yeah. You don't see that every day. I, I know there's a few in DCRL. My captain is one, but uh, it's always fun to point out whenever whenever you see anybody on keyboard and mouse, just because it kind of goes against the norm that we see from Rocket League players here. Um, but Mediocre Joker is going to hit this one out mid, trying to get a teammate there. And Port of the Great's going to try to clear it out. We'll see what Crazy Ike can do. Gets a bit of an unfortunate side flip. 50s, this one's out mid, but Pumpkinhead doesn't decide to go initially. Gets a demo. We were talking about the demos earlier. Looks like he might have tried to get a bump in net, but can't find it. We'll see what Crazy Ike can do. He's going to boom it upfield. And so far, it just looks like we're kind of seeing a bunch of boomer ball right now. Neither team wants yeah. to take control, but... Yeah, there we go. Mediocre Joker just, like you said, it's a game of ping pong. And Mediocre Joker is the one to deliver the finishing blow. And what was really just a well-placed shot, little thicky, not enough boost to get to that one. And Reaper is taking a nice, comfortable start to this series. Let's see what low ballers can do to respond. Yeah, they'll have to start responding pretty quickly, though. You know, you have a minute left here in this game one. And they need two goals to bring it to an overtime, three to win. So um, they better get going and get going now. A little thing he's going to try to put this one on net, and it's going to go in. Yeah, that'll work for that comeback. And you see, I mean, they're just going quickly here. A little thicky sees the opening, and yeah, it's just unfortunately gets caught right between the rotation there of Mediocre Joker and Crazy Ike. Means we got ourselves a game on our hands, Omega. Yeah, for sure. Both teams have scored, so, I mean, now it just comes down to the question of whether or not lowballers will get a goal here. Um... They're definitely going to try their best, but whether or not it'll happen is is to be seen. Crazy Ike here as the last man. It's a little awkward on the wall. Let's see if he can get a touch on it. He hits it up towards mid, but that's a great clear to the other side here, especially for Divi, and they're just trying to keep the ball out of their net. Pumpkinhead's going to hit it away from everybody. I like that hit a lot. And Elite Upgrade's trying to just leave the ball for his teammate there, I guess. Um, little think he's going to go for it. He might try to get this one on net. And it just barely misses. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we almost saw the craziest double touch I think I've ever seen. And yeah, Elite Upgrade. Oh, it's going to be off the post. Pumpkinhead to clear. Down to the last 10 seconds. Port of the Great sends it mid. Two Reapers are there, Phil. It's going to be Mediocre Joker here watching the goal alone. It's over. Oh, Little Thicky just getting it past. And it's probably going to send us to overtime here. Yeah. And we saw Pumpkinhead and Crazy like kind of double commit there on the wall. And just a little bit of an unfortunate miss there from Mediocre Joker. Maybe it was just some good placement from the low ballers. But yeah, we have a game. It's 2-2 here. Three seconds left. Unless there's a quick kickoff goal here, we'll be headed to overtime, which it looks like we will be. Yep. First overtime this series could be first of many. See how this goes. Pumpkinhead, elite upgrade on the kickoff here. Port of the Great is to follow. Just can't quite get there. Now back over into the blue corner. Potentially Mediocre Joker here on the contest. Just able to pop it up. By the team sometime. Or the great now centering it. A pumpkin head to clear. Yeah, Crazy Ike's just going to try to hit that one to a teammate. Not quite able to. Uh, we'll think he's going to get a great 50 here. The net looked to be a little open here, but um, yeah, that's, a, that's an unfortunate miss there coming out from the Reapers. And Lowball is going to take game one. Yeah, I mean. At the start of the game, it seemed like the Reapers had good control there, but unfortunately, you know, late in the game, the nerves can run high, and I think that's what happened. Perhaps Low Ballers just has more of that experience that the Reapers are still looking to develop. And yeah, it's going to be Low Ballers taking game one of the series. Yeah, it's a bit of an unfortunate loss for the Reapers. Um, starting out up 2-0 and losing 3-2, three, three but um, now the question is, uh, whether or not they'll they'll find the fight and uh, come back with more pressure and more force than they had in this game and really show the low ballers who they are. Yeah, I mean, looking to take a quick look at the stats here. Crazy Ike with 43 touches, but what really stands out to me is only two demos, one for each team. We're not in much of a slugfest just yet. We'll see how the rest of the series goes. Yeah, um... Yeah, a little thicky, 382 points, two goals. Um, both of the low ballers had assists. Um, that um, I guess the are two that weren't a little thicky. Um, but, yeah, two assists to one assist. Um, we'll see if the assists play any any part into it, um, like I mentioned potentially um, before. But 
Yeah, it looks like we're about to hop into game two here. What do you think Reapers need to really change up? Uh, I think it, I sent a message to Pumpkinhead before the game, and I said, just keep calm, keep a level head, do what you do best. And I think that's the, that's the key point here, is just stay calm, play your role, you know, trust in your teammates, and good results will come. Yeah, especially with it being a stream game, there, there might be some stream nerves there too, but um, staying calm and staying cool, calm, collected uh, as a whole definitely helps. And low ballers, they must have stayed cool, calm, and collected enough to pull off that comeback. They're going to try to get a quick one here. That one's going to bounce off the post and go in. Yeah, a little sticky. I mean, he has been all over the field today. And that is, what, his third goal already? Three of the four goals coming from little thicky here. Yeah, um, it's an early goal here. We didn't see an early goal coming out from low ballers last game. It was Reapers that had all the pressure at the beginning. And Lil Thicky's gonna try to make it a second one, but this one's gonna go wide to the left here. Port of the Great's gonna try to follow it up. Can't quite read it. Pumpkin is just gonna smash it straight into his teammate, Mediocre Joker there. A little unfortunate. The ball's gonna stay on the Reaper's side, but a great save coming out from Crazy Ike here. And Lil Thicky's just gonna boom it back to the other side of the field. And then Pumpkin's gonna boom it back to the other side of the field. And Port of the Great's gonna boom it back to the other side of the field. All I'm seeing right now is a bunch of boomer ball. Yeah, it's a lot of, uh, I don't want it. You take it, you take it. It's not my problem. And you know what? Here we go. Pumpkinhead with the shot. Going to level it up for the Reapers. We see that boomer ball kind of die down a little bit. I think both teams feeling like they had the advantage and it ends up going the way of Pumpkinhead and the Reapers. Yeah, it's kind of like they're playing hot potato a little bit. Uh, I don't know if that's a good analogy, but they're just trying to pass the ball off to anybody but themselves. Um, so I, I would like to see both teams take a little bit more control. I think control is a big thing um, at every level of Rocket League. Um, you know, being able to keep control is fundamental to winning a game. But um, I, I think whichever team takes more control uh, and tries to control the ball a lot more, maybe pass it to their teammates a little bit more, um, comes out on top. But as I say, that pumpkin head with a great shot to the top left doesn't quite go in. We see a double commit from the low ballers here. A little thicky with a flip off the wall. Can't quite read it. Elite upgrade gets a bit of a double tap here on the corner. It's a little interesting to see. Um, this one's going to go out mid. A miss from Mediocre Joker, but that one's going to hit the crossbar and Crazy Likes there to clear it away. Yeah, I, I guess they've been studying your film because that is one of your signature shots there. The old crossbar tapper is <laughs> now we get back into the action. Elite upgrade. He's just going to go back and score one here for the low ballers. It's going to bring it to two to one. Yeah, it's a nice shot from a lead upgrade here. He just beat Pumpkinhead to the ball and sent it right down the middle of the net. Doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, getting back into it now. I mean, two to one. The Reapers seem to have settled the nerves a little bit. Not quite able to iron out some of those issues we saw in game one with the double commits. It's crazy like they're firing off a shot. A little thicky there to save. Back to Pumpkinhead now. But Port of the Great is there to send it back to Mediocre Joker. A little unfortunate 50 there between teammates. Could be up there for Elite Upgrade. Good save though from Pumpkinhead. Yeah, we'll see what Reapers can do on offense. A little thicky just tries to boom it away. Elite Upgrade with a backflip. Can't quite read it. Port of the Great's going to follow us up. Um, and it looked like everybody on Reapers went for that ball. And only one person hit it. Um, but Elite Upgrade's going to try to put that one behind Crazy Ike. Is not quite able to. Mediocre Joker's going to try to collect it. Pumpkinhead's going to go for the ball. And Port of the Great with a great backboard read there. You don't see that too often in Divi. It's a great clear. He's going to try to turn this into something on offense. Yeah, now it's going to be Crazy Ike here on the ball. He's been really dominant in possession. And look at that. What a shot there from Crazy Ike. Going to bring it back to level. What was just a really good solo dribbling play. Sometimes that's all you need. Yeah, it's a bounce dribble. Brings it around everybody and gets the post in. That is an amazing shot here from Crazy Ike. He's going to tie up the game. Reapers come back. Um, but now we're going to have to see who finishes out strong. I know we're not quite to the end of the game yet. We have two minutes remaining. But the Reapers were not able to hold off the low ballers at the end of last game. And low ballers ended up finishing and winning the game. So we'll have to see if this ends up being almost a repeat of last game or not. 
but uh, if you're Reapers, of course, you don't want to think about that. Um, and that one, it's a great 50 from the Reapers, and that's going to stay out of the net. We have two Reapers in net, and Pumpkinhead with a great save. He's been pretty much everywhere on defense from what I've noticed. Yeah, really, I feel like the Reapers as a whole, their rotational game has really stepped up this week. They're uh, sure that, you know, there's been a couple double commits, but I feel like overall we're seeing whoever's the furthest back getting up more. We're seeing a lot more of these kind of laying it off for your teammate like we're seeing here. And it seems to be working well. I mean, more goals in two games. Sure, you know, they might be down the series, but they are definitely making good of their opportunities. Yeah, for sure. And that opportunity right there looked really good, but it was a great save from low ballers keeping it away from the net. Reapers, they've been on offense here for what feels to me like at least the last 30 seconds. Um, that's the type of pressure you love to see. You know, just constant pressure, shot after shot after shot on net. You know, maybe you're suffocating the other team from uh, from boost. So, another great 50 here. This one's going to fall right in front of the net. And Crazy, like, can he get that on? Not quite. It's off the post. Pumpkin, and he's just there to shoot scramble. it. Yeah, and I mean, just all six players are just fumbling for the ball. No one's quite is able to get to it. It's now Little Thicky with zero boost. Straight into a wall of blue there. Back to Mediocre Joker, who passes it to Pumpkinhead. Can't quite get to it, though. Ten seconds left. Let's see if the Reapers can pull off anything or else we're going to another overtime. But now Lowballer says, hey, hang on a sec. We're still here. Pumpkinhead clearing it, though. Oh, it's going to bring us to our second overtime of the series. Yeah, it doesn't get much closer than that in a series. I mean, what more can you wish for than back-to-back -back overtimes to start out the series? We'll see if this overtime ends up any differently here. Crazy Ike's going for a beat, gets it. It's off the corner. Can he read it? It's going to go out to Little Thicky with a great clear. Pumpkin and Mediocre Joker both double come in on that, but Mediocre's going to hit it over one. This one's just going to go out mid for Crazy Ike. He's going to follow this with the net. This is an empty net if he can get to it. Yeah, the net appeared to be open, but he wasn't quite able to. And low ballers will recover from that potentially fatal mistake. Yeah, nice clear there. It's going to go over Mediocre Joker, but Pumpkinhead is there to clear. It's going to go back mid, though. Can he get to it before someone on low ballers can? Just barely. Yeah, Mediocre Joker's going to come out here for the 50. Can't quite get it. Crazy Ike's going to control it, but with low boost, I don't know if he's going to get beat. He's going to get it out, but Elite Upgrade's there to follow. Pumpkin's going to hit it to yeah. the corner. Crazy Ike has to go quickly. He does. And Pumpkin is there to follow it up. That's some it's great defense read. to get it out. It's a good read from Crazy Ike. Going to set up this attack. Mediocre Joker getting the second demo here for the Reapers. That's a good clear from the low ballers. Going to send it back here. For what? Is it just another ball in this neutral area where both teams a little nervous to go for these, it seems. It's a great shot from Porter. And it's an unfortunate miss to the right. You just barely miss it off the post crossbar, the corner there. Um, and then you, you can't find the second rebound shot either. Super unfortunate. And Pumpkinhead with a great touch away. And low bars are a little caught off guard by it. Mediocre Joker gets a great 50 here. And a little thicky's going to be there to, to clear it out. Pumpkin's going to hit it away for the Reapers here. And... Yeah, it's, it's hard to make out really who's going to win this game just from looking at this overtime. It seems like a lot of just boomer ball and some great saves on defense, too. Yeah, really, neither team taking a big advantage here. It does seem like low ballers is controlling a little bit more of the possession. As there we go, little thicky, once again, with the overtime goal to end the series. And really, it has just been all a little thicky this series, as once again, he is putting his mark on game two, just like in game one. Yeah, for sure. It's a great shot. It goes in. Um, low ballers, they're going to take it 2-0 here. Um, they're going to bring the game to match point. A little thicky at yeah. two goals. Once again, uh, 553 points this time for the low ballers. He's the captain of their team, and he's showing why he deserves to be the captain. Uh, with yeah, absolutely. Performances. I know I was a Div D captain, and he was one of the players on my short list. So I think he caught the division, the eye of some Div D players as well. And he's trying to prove to guys like myself, Div D captains, hey, you made a big mistake. As once again, he's just seems to really just be running the show here. Yeah, um, as I say, looking at the stats, we do see two demos for Reapers and zero for Low Ballers, but uh, both teams had a lot of shots. 
Um, just, you know, one team ended up scoring one more goal than the other. I do really believe there is nothing to split these two teams as a, at the moment. As we get into game three, will the Reapers pull off a re uh, reverse sweep or will low ballers close out the series? Yeah, the odds are, are not looking too great for Reapers here. A reverse sweep even in just a best of five is uh, a little bit of a tall order for, for most teams. Um, but we'll see if they're up to the challenge here. They're going to try to get a quick one off kickoff and that's going to go off the corner. Oh my goodness. Yeah, really good kickoff there. Just not quite able to find the back of the net. But the Reapers are getting close, you know, and if this is a one that they drop, you can tell that the building blocks are there that will lead to that first win eventually. Definitely. Um, yeah, Reapers, they're, they're on d defensive right now. They're going to try to get it out. Elite upgrades there to keep the pressure. Tries to get a read on that. Not quite able to. Pumpkin's just going to clear it out. Try to go for a 50. Can't quite. Mediocre Joker's there for the 50. Now, Crazy Ike, he's going to boom this one out mid. And Lil Thicky is going to take the boost from Crazy Ike. We don't talk about boost stealing much, but it, it can be a, a huge thing where if one team's without boost, the other team is definitely going to be um, at a lot more of an advantage here. But we see a great shot from Crazy Ike, but an even better save from the low ballers here. Yeah, to that point with boost stealing, I think it is one of those things, you know, it can really get, can really could frustrate you, upset your mental. As, I mean, we're already seeing players starting to kind of get a little bit more aggressive than we saw earlier. I think we're going to see the demo count soaring in this game. Yeah. Um, Reapers, they're going to try to take it on offense here. Crazy Ike is the main one leading the offensive. Not quite able to get it around Lil Thicky. Little Thicky, he's just been everywhere this game and the, the whole series for that uh, for that point. But he's going to touch it here, try to control it. A bit of a triple commit from low ballers. We'll see if that affects them negatively here. Pumpkinhead's going to boom it out. Uh, Mediocre Joker's going to hit it to the side. Port of the Great's just going to boom it back to the Reaper's end here. We'll see what low ballers can do on offense. Crazy Ike and Pumpkinhead both commit. The ball gets hit backwards, but great clear from Mediocre Joker there. Yeah, we're just seeing this game has really just been a lot of pressure from the low ballers. The Reapers just hanging on by a thread, doing what they need to do to keep this level at zero. Now can we see maybe some offense here from the Reapers? This Crazy Ike's going to take it in the corner. A Mediocre Joker wasn't quite expecting that extra touch. As once again, just kind of contested here. A little bit of boomer ball, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So now, Port of the Great with a really good save. And the Reaper's unable to capitalize on this offense, it seems. Yeah, Pumpkinhead gets a shot, but it's a little bit to the right of the net. Elite Upgrade's going to hit it past two of the Reaper's defenders. It's just Elite Upgrade versus Pumpkinhead. But Pumpkinhead's aware of that and goes at a great time and gets the beat on Elite Upgrade here. It's crazy Ike's going to try to score this one on a bit of a weird angle. And Pumpkinhead's there. Tries to shoot it on net. It's a little bit high. And Lobo is going to escape with, from the pressure here. Smiley face. Yeah, now it seems like the momentum's almost shifted in this game, Omega. We now see the Reapers kind of taking control here. Not only these sustained attacks like we saw in game two as Ike goes up for the air dribble. He's going to hit the ball. Wow, he almost gets it in off that. Pumpkin heads there to prevent an automatic goal there. Yeah, crazy Ike. I mean... We've seen, I've casted Divi, I think, three times now, and we have not seen anything like this. Crazy, like, getting very mechanical with it, which is great to see. Yeah, lead upgrade and Crazy, like, with a 50 here, and that's going to find its way to the right of net. Would have been a little bit rough if that one was the one that went in and broke the camel's back. But, um, yeah, Pumpkin, he's going to hit this one off the corner. Gonna try to get back to it, hit it to a teammate, not quite able to. Crazy Ike with some bumps. He's gonna just back pass this. I guess he's not gonna back pass, he's gonna go for it again. Uh, Mediocre Joker's here trying to get a hit mid, and she does. But two low ballers are there to hit it away. I think this game's gonna come down to the first team to score. Yeah, and I mean I mean, I don't wanna I don't wanna make any early predictions here, but this could be the third overtime we have in a row here the way things have been going. Now, can either team prove me wrong? Give me the caster's curse as we get into the last 30 seconds here. 
I was gonna say, don't worry, you're not K-Tool. Although, <laughs> although K-Tool has been a lot better at his predictions this season. Um, but yeah, this game could very easily be a third overtime in a row here. Crazy Ike doesn't want that though, and he shoots that on bottom right. It's a great shot. Yeah, ah, uh, shoot. Well, you know, it's really upsetting for the Reapers to prove me wrong with the Caster's Curse. I definitely am not biased towards them at all. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but in all seriousness though, from a neutral perspective, you know, it's good to see a goal. It's good to see hopefully this series prolonged as we go into the last 22 seconds here. Yeah, a little think he's going to hit this one. Leave it right out front of net. It's a little bit spooky there, but nothing comes of it. This one's going to just go to the middle of the field here. Lead upgrade is going to boom it a little bit to the right of net. Pumpkin is just going to try to touch it away. Crazy Ike here is just going to let us roll. And that's a super unfortunate hit backwards. And Reaper is yeah, going to take mean, game three. Elite upgrade. I'm not really sure what's going on on his camera. We got the <laughs> vlog going on, but he had the ball there at the front post. Uh, you know, maybe if he just had his camera pointed at him, he could have got that goal in and brought it to overtime. As yeah, I mean, it was really just a back and forth game. Not a whole lot going on on either side. Looking at the stats though, I, I think what really catches my eye here is the touches. Least touches in the lobby, elite upgrade with 21. Most Porter and Crazy Egg with 26. To have the entire lobby within five touches of each other, just goes to show how all six players are getting involved. And it's just these two teams. You just can't separate them right now, Omega. Yeah, I mean, this has been a very close match. We almost saw a third overtime in a row. How often does that happen? I, I don't right? know if I've ever seen it in DCRL. Three overtimes back to back to back. Um, Reapers here, they, they might be looking for a third overtime in this game four. Who knows? Exactly. And I mean, it's just great to see this DCRL action, getting two teams so closely matched. No matter who you're rooting for, you can't help but smile and enjoy this game because we are having a great series so far. Because now we're getting into game four. Yeah, I do want to point out the one goal scored was assisted. So the assists are are proven to be crucial here. Um, Mediocre Joker tries to sneak one in right away, not quite able to. Pumpkinhead, this one's going to go out to the mid, but Crazy Ike with a great touch. Almost gets it around all the defenders. And he will get it around Little Thicky here, but Elite Upgrade with a great touch to clear it away. Mediocre Joker with a bit of an unfortunate miss, but Pumpkinhead's going to send that one right back mid. Little Thicky with a bit of a miss, and Pumpkinhead's going to score it right away. Yeah, I mean, hey, we got the DSU connection, DSU streamer, DSU caster, and DSU goal scorer as Pumpkinhead puts it in to bring his team up one to nothing. Yeah, he's been the lead goal scorer. He didn't score the sole, go the sole goal last game, but he's been the lead goal scorer for this Reapers team right away, and he's proving why. Scoring early here in game four. Port of the Great's going to try to get a shot of his own on net. Saved away by Crazy Ike. Lead upgrade with a bit of a miss. Uh, Mediocre Joker's just going to hit this one to the corner, try to clear it away. Crazy Ike's going to hit this one it goes kind of back towards the net lead upgrade is going to get a shot on but not quite able to get it close to net mediocre joker is going to flip into the ball try to get a second touch here maybe play for a 50 and port of the great's going to hit it away and that's an unfortunate oh, no. touch <laughs> yeah crazy ike just barely skimming the ball there unfortunately there and yeah and you know it's just one of those things it happens you're the reapers right now can't help but laugh at that one just treat it you know accidents happen like that you just got to put your head back in the game and go back at it keep doing what you've been doing these past couple games yeah for sure i know i've done that like 10 15 20 times uh personally it, it's always a bad feeling but it certainly happens crazy x trying to wipe that away from the memory but all three of them committed pumpkin with a great clear i was just gonna say something about the triple commit coming out to punish them, but Pumpkinhead got a really good recovery there um, and went back at full speed. Crazy Egg's going to try to... Yeah, Crazy Egg's going to try to dribble it around, but not quite able to. Mediocre Joker there with the demo. Crazy Egg's just going to try to get control of this ball and just leave it for a teammate here. Pumpkin's not quite able to hit it. Mediocre Joker's going to hit it into the opponent, and the lead upgrade's going to score. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, this is just one where, yeah, the, the rotations for the Reapers, you know, elite upgrade, little thicky, just doing what they can to break them down, and it ends up getting them 
a nice goal there. He is in the lead here in game four. Yeah, Reapers, they have three minutes to score here, but they are on match point. Uh, that is something that we should remind people about. Um, you know, the Reapers, they need to complete the reverse sweep in order to, to take the series. And as we've said before, that is not an easy thing to do. But I'm sure they, they want to do it. They proved it by winning game three. We'll see if they can get up here in game four as they're on the offensive side. But it's a great 50 from Porter the Great. Lead Upgrade's going to try to outplay Crazy Ike. Not quite able to. Uh, and Crazy Ike's going to try to follow this one up. A little thicky with the great clear out mid. Mediocre's going to hit it out to the corner. And Porter the Great's just going to try to control it. Gets a great touch back mid. But Pumpkinhead's there for the Reapers. Yeah, and I mean, Reapers are kind of starting their signature offensive half pressure. It seems once a game they pull off one of these plays, and now is the time. Down a goal, you just need whatever you can get to get back into this series. Yeah, Crazy Ike's going to try to get a shot on. Can't quite get it past a little thicky. Oh, what a fake. Yeah, he's able to get it behind. I, I don't even remember what happened here. I, I think Crazy Ike there, he sees his little thicky coming. He knows he's jumping on this. And Crazy Ike reaching into the back pocket, using all of the brain there, really. What is just probably one of the most impressive goals there. A little palindrome on the clock there as well to kick start us off 2-2 here. Game four. What do both teams have left in the tank as we end out this series? Yeah, Crazy Ike's going to try to follow this one up. Tries to touch it back mid, not quite able to. This one's going to end up going mid, but nobody is there from the Reapers to capitalize on it. Crazy Ike's just going to touch it in. Mediocre Joker's going to get a shot on net, but it is saved away by the low ballers. Pumpkinhead's going to hit this one out mid. Crazy Ike, that one's a little bit off and tries to get a second touch there. Not able to, but Pumpkinhead's there to score it. Yeah, the Reapers, I don't know what happened, but they they have gotten back into it. And it was really just a great team play there. Crazy Ike and Pumpkinhead showing that they just want to keep putting on this pressure. And for now, it is working. Low ballers do not have an answer to this onslaught that's coming the way of the Reapers. Yeah, it's a great kickoff. Mediocre Joker's going to try to sneak one past Porter. Not quite able to. And Crazy Ike's just going to send it back to low ballers' way. He's going to try to get this one out mid. Gets one touch on it. Not quite able to follow it up again. And Pumpkinhead's going to send this one towards the net. Porter with a, a hit out to the side. Crazy Ike's going to get it around all the defenders. But nobody's there for Reapers. It's a little unfortunate there. And yeah, Crazy Ike. I know we've been talking about Little Thicky all series. But Crazy Ike says, what about me here? In game four, just completely involved in this game. Getting really just involved from everything. And now with just 45 seconds left on the clock, see what the what the low ballers have to respond here. It's Crazy Egg with a shot on net. Little thicky, just barely able to get to it though. Yeah, this one's gonna pinch out towards the back right. If you're the Reapers, you're just glad that one didn't pinch into the net again. Um, <laughs> Crazy Egg's gonna hit this one to the side. Porter's just gonna boom it right back mid. A bit of a double commit, that's a pinch. And that one's off the post. What is it with all the pinches that we've seen so far in this game four? Reapers are going to try to keep some pressure. A double commit and neither of them hit it. And Porter all of a sudden is left on the offense with a one-on-one. -on -one, but the Reapers are able to recover. They have five seconds left to hold on to this lead. Are they able to? As lead upgrade tries to get a shot on that. And that's going to go wide. Yeah, low ballers. They were looking dangerous there at the end of the game, I must say. And I mean... Props to them for sticking in it, but this game is just not quite enough. So now we see Porter the Great there, doing the most in the lobby there with his four saves. It's kind of worked to combat those, just, what was that, 11 shots from the Reapers compared to the low ballers three? I mean, props to the low ballers for the offensive position efficiency, 66% on that shot percentage. But, I mean, the Reapers have gotten two back, and I mean, I'm sure the fans love this. We're going to a game five, Omega. Yeah, I mean, I predicted a game five, so... Um, but, yeah, when you have 11 shots of pressure from the Reapers compared to the three of low ballers, um, it ends up being a game where Reapers have a big advantage. Um, of course, this one, it really doesn't show it in the final scoreline with it being 3-2, but whenever you're able to outshoot your opponents by almost 
four times, you're going to end up with more goals just because there's more opportunities. Yeah, and I think going into game five, we're really just going to see who can capitalize the most on those opportunities. So now we're going to begin into the action for what could be last few minutes here on the series, barring some overtime. Yeah, game five overtime would be a pretty storybook ending um, for the series, though. We'll see if it happens. It's got five minutes on the clock here. Reapers are ready to get going right away. They win the kickoff. Mediocre Joker's going to try to hit it out mid. Not quite able to. Crazy Eye gets a 50. And all of a sudden, this looks pretty potent towards the Reapers. The Mediocre Joker with a great clear. And Porter's going to shoot that one a little bit high. Pumpkin's going to clear it away here. Gets the boost. See what he can do as he rounds the corner. And that's a pinch straight into the ceiling out mid. And Porter's going to try to put a shot on that. But Crazy Eye's there with a good save. Yeah, those shots... You have to make a save kind of across your body there. That's a tough one. So good job there from Crazy Ike. See a double commit here. All put in a dangerous area here for Porter. Can't quite find the target as Ike's here to collect. Yeah, lead upgrade's going to try to put some pressure onto the Reapers. But the Reapers just clear it away and say, hey, I don't want any pressure today. I don't want to have a chance to get scored on. Um, they're going to try to touch it away. Lead upgrade a little bit to the right here. Crazy Eye gets a demo, but can't quite find the ball. And Low Ball is going to take a 1-0 lead right away in Game 5. Yeah, really just a beautiful play there from Low Ballers. Just play a little bit of wall ball there. Slam it off the wall a couple times. Getting all those defenders out of the way before Porter the Great. Just a simple forward flick. Slot away that first goal of the crucial Game 5. Yeah, Mediocre Joker is going to try to get one right away, but some good defense from the Low Ballers keeps it out. Pumpkin and Crazy Eye with a bit of an unfortunate double commit here. And Elite Upgrade is going to boom this one back to a teammate. Port of the Great is going to go for it. He's going to hit it to the corner. This one's going to be popped up in the corner. Everybody's kind of there. We see a Rule 1. That's exciting. A Game 5 Rule oh, 1. Oh, yeah. And it gets broken up. Oh, no. Yeah, I think one of the Reapers there breaking up the Rule 1. Not sure who that was, but saying, all right, we need 3v3 going here. And yeah, we're back to full strength here, both sides. So we get done with about the first third of the game. Low ballers taking control, but the Reapers, you can't count them out. Yeah, Reapers are going to leave this one hanging in the net. Crazy X is going to try to get it. Can't quite find the shot on net. And Elite Upgrade is going to try to take this in a bit of a transition. Little Thicky is going to score it. And you know what? The Rocket League... Palmer always comes back to bite you. That's why you don't break a rule one, unfortunately. As yeah, I mean, in all reality though, low ballers just catch a reapers there on the breakaway. Mediocre Joker gets caught in a little bit of an awkward situation there. And low ballers, they've faced the reapers with what could be an insurmountable challenge, but can they do what the low ballers did to them in game one and come back from a two goal deficit? Yeah, that's a very good point. This is the opposite of what happened so far in game one. Crazy Ike's going to try to get the comeback going. Hits it to towards uh, the other team's half. Pumpkinhead with a great clear. Little Thicky's just going to boom it right back. Mediocre is up in the air. Can't quite find it. This one's going to find the left post. Port of the Grace is going to try to sneak it in between two defenders. It's not quite able to. Mediocre Joker's going to try to run away with this. Hit it out mid. And this one's not going to find its way into the net. But Crazy Eye gets a pass out to the left here. Pumpkinhead's going to try to commit to it and get it out towards the net and Crazy Eye's just going to send this one flying to the other side of the field. Yeah, every failed attack here from the Reapers is just going to count down this clock more and more for them. They're going to have to start developing more of a potent offense as Mediocre Joker looks to start that off with the demo. Now Crazy Ike sending it up. Elite upgrade. Ball in a dangerous area here. It's going to go the way of the low ballers for now. Now Pumpkinhead on it. He's going to hit it back to the upgrade. Leaves it for a crazy Ike to boom it up field. What can he do with the ball in the corner here? Tries to get the double touch. It's going to get popped up for Mediocre Joker off the back wall. The drop back down to two Reapers players. But the third is just not there to capitalize at the moment. Yeah, they're all really low boost from what I'm able to notice too. Which is not a recipe for success. And Little Thinky's going to put a third one in the net. Yeah, and I mean, unless we see some sort of miracle here, Omega, I think that might just be curtains on this series. Uh, it, it might be, but anything can happen. 
Uh, a minute 22 is still enough time to mount a comeback. Um, and, I mean, it, it's... The odds are stacked against them, but the odds are stacked against them with the reverse sweep in the first place. So, maybe they're able to beat the odds again. Um, and Elite Upgrade's going to try to prove that they're not able to beat the odds and get another goal there, but he is not quite able to. Crazy Ike's going to get a 50 here. Mediocre Joker's going to get bumped away. Porter's just going to send this one back to the side here. And Crazy Ike's going to clear it out. We'll see what happens. A little thick he's able to get some great wall hits and just chew this clock out and just keep it ticking. Yeah, now we're done with the down to the last 45 seconds here. It's crazy. Ike looking to possess, trying just to mount some sort of attack. Let's stay on the ball here. Pick up that mid boost. Gonna pop it up. Gonna air dribble a little bit. Why not? Pop it down for your teammate and mediocre Joker. Unable to get the shot off though. Yeah, Pumpkinhead's just gonna put out a desperation clear here. Try to get something going. A little thick. He's gonna keep it away. Time is ticking down. And Port of the Great's gonna try to put a nail in the coffin. Not quite able to. Lead upgrade hits this one out mid. Nobody is there for the low ballers. Crazy Ike's gonna try to get one for the road. Little Thicky's there to block it out. And Crazy Ike's gonna try to just score one here last second. And this one's gonna hit the ground. 3-0, low ballers win. Yeah, I know we didn't talk about them much this series, but the low ballers just really trying to do their best to keep calm, carry on throughout that series. And really just props to them for playing relatively consistent throughout that series. And taking a much deserved win there. They did look to be the better team, wouldn't you say, Omega? Yeah. Uh, I would say they, they ended up looking like the better team, but both or both teams were very close throughout the whole series. Um, I don't think I've seen a much closer series than this. Um like it, it just doesn't doesn't get much better than this as far as um being competitive goes. Absolutely, I totally agree with you on that. And yeah, both teams should really just give themselves some credit. We saw really some, if we go back to watching that first week of Div E to where these teams are at now, we've already seen such great improvement. And really, as the season progresses, I'm excited to see what this division has in store. Yeah, for sure. We do have these guys in here for a winner's interview. I'll, I will drag them in, in just a sec. <laughs> Hello, congrats on the win, guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I guess uh, for the first question, I'll go to Lil Thicky, the captain. Um, uh, yeah, so this is the third week. Are you feeling like your team's meshing uh, together pretty well? Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like uh, we are doing better, although the first game was really tough because we've been dealing with a lot of things, to be honest. I changed my settings a lot, and internet connection issues and a lot of things. Well, I'm glad we, we pulled through them. Yeah. Ugh. All right, great. And pass the next question along here to upgrade. Uh, just kind of as your teammate mentioned there about the changes going into this week, just within that series, you know, winning those first two games somewhat comfortably. I mean, sure, you know, it was a little closer than expected. Then dropping those two games and then coming back to win that last game. Just kind of where was the mindset at throughout the series and how did you guys work to keep that level head as you went on to win this game? So we were we were really just trying to focus up, just stay stay good on our comms most of the time. There were some distractions uh, by which I mean the camera getting still on. I don't know if y'all noticed. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, we noticed. We had some laughs about that. <laughs> we had some laughs. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's all it's all fun. It's all fun. Absolutely. And then did you have a, a final question here to ask Omega? I'm trying to think of one. My my brain's not working too well right now. <laughs> I I can take I can take the last one here for Porter. Uh, now that you guys have won this game, you know you're back to a winning record. Kind of where do you want to see this team go as you continue to and to move through move through the rest of the regular season? And what do you guys think you need to improve on as you move towards these playoffs? As we move forward, we definitely need to work on uh, our sh our shots. There's a lot of open nets there that I know I've whiffed on, so that's definitely something I need to improve on. We, we fixed up our comms there. We were a little all over the place there, 
starting the first game and the third game. I know that. So getting that all improved, I think, will be set. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, guys, so much for coming in, answering some questions. Hope you guys all have a good rest of your nights. All right. You too. Thank Thank you. you so much. All right. So that does it for the one game of the night that we have here. Uh, it was just this 10 p.m. game, but it, it uh, definitely lived up to the hype. Going all the way to game five. Um, as I, say, I don't really have any closing remarks. you have anything, Pat? Absolutely. I know. I'll go with the old song and dance that I always do. Just once again, thank you to everyone who tuned in to watch this game. Shout out to both teams for really putting together what was a great effort and put on a great show for all of us. And, you know, it's a Sunday night. As a DCRL fan, you can't help but be excited for the whole slate of games we have going on this week. I know we already have a ton on the calendar, and we really have some really interesting matchups to look forward to this week. And with that, that's all I've got for you. So for me, I mean, so I'll send it over to you to close it out. Yeah, just uh, stay on the lookout for some more streams. We'll have a lot more action. But uh, yeah, other than that, just uh, have a great night, everybody.